like to go over a quick derivation of the axis of symmetry formula for a parabola, which is x is equal to negative b over 2a. So say we have a, an equation, f of x is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c. Uh, you guys have learned that in order to find the axis of symmetry, which is basically a vertical line that divides the parabola into two congruent halves, you can find that by plugging in your b and a value into this formula x is equal to negative b over 2a. And that will give you a vertical axis of symmetry line. It will also give you the x coordinate of your vertex. And I wanted to derive this, show you guys kind of where it comes from, using the midpoint formula. All right? So the midpoint formula is x sub 1 plus x sub 2 over 2 comma so that's your x value or your um, your x value and your y value is y sub 1 plus y sub 2 divided by 2 all right so we're going to use this formula and we're going to try to come up with this negative b over 2a if I have a parabola, and I want to find its axis of symmetry, well, I can just kind of think about it is I want to find what the midpoint of my two zeros would be. Okay, So the midpoint of my two zeros, well, I can use the midpoint formula to find that. The question is, how, what formula do I use to find these two zeros? Well, I use the quadratic formula, right? If I have a quadratic here, I can use the quadratic formula to solve this. So I can use x is equal to negative b plus or minus the square root of 4ac all over... 2a. That's how I can find my zeros. Once I've found them, then I can use my midpoint formula to solve for my axis of symmetry. Okay? This will all come become clear what I'm doing in one second. Okay. So I have my midpoint formula, which I can, I'll just focus on my x values for now. So I have uh, x sub 1 plus x sub 2. And you can look at a video on the midpoint formula to figure out how they got that. But that is my x coordinate of my, mid, of my midpoint. Okay, And my two, my two x values are going to be my my two zeros, okay? And that's you're going to get that by using the quadratic formula. So a sub 1, I can say, is negative b plus the square root of 4ac. Oops. Negative b plus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. And then I can add that. That's my x sub 1, right? That's my first 0 with this addition sign here. Plus, right, this plus here, negative b minus, right? So my, my usual quadratic formula is negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac. So I'm just splitting them up into its, the two individual zeros. Negative b plus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a and minus, okay? And again, this is all over 2, okay? Well, I can combine some things. This is addition and I have a common 
denominator here. So I can just say b, negative b, plus the square root of b squared minus 4ac, plus, well, yeah, sure, plus negative b minus the square root of b squared over 4ac, all over 2a, and, and remember this is all over 2 again. All right, let me just copy this. I just recopied that and I got rid of my parentheses. Okay, let me just make this a little bit bigger here. All right, so I notice here that I have a positive square root of b squared minus 4ac and a negative square root of b squared minus 4ac. So I can get rid of those and I can say, okay, negative b minus b over 2a all divided by 2. Okay? And that is equivalent to negative 2b over 2a all divided by 2. Okay? Uh, I can get rid of this, right? I can get rid of these 2s here and I can say, okay, so well, negative b over a divided by, oops, over a divided by 2. And division, sometimes when I do these problems, I like to think about it in a slightly different way. I'll just put negative b over a divided by 2 over 1. Or I can think of it as negative b times, remember keep change flip, times 1 over 2, which is the equivalent of, I'll just multiply this out, negative b all over 2a. Okay? So all I did was just simplify my quadratic formula within my midpoint formula, and I got this axis of symmetry, negative b over 2a. Okay? So that is one, one example of how to think about your axis of symmetry formula.